This is the Akash missile. It will fly toward, well, this fighter jet, the Chengdu J-20. Boom! No escape. But seriously, the Akash missile system is the missile system the Philippines wants to buy for the Philippine army. But what exactly does it have? What can it do? How can it help the Philippines? Let's look at that in this video. The Akash missile system is a medium-range surface-to-air missile developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization. It is designed to provide air defense against aerial threats such as fighter jets, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles. One Akash battery consists of four self-propelled launchers, 12 Akash missiles, with three missiles per launcher in the case of Akash 1S or Prime, and six missiles per launcher in the case of the Akash Next Generation, housed in canisters, one Rahendra fire control radar, and a battery command center. A group of four Akash batteries has one command center and one central acquisition radar. The missile launcher is a self-powered and fully automated electromechanical launching system. It can be mounted on an 8x8 truck for faster repositioning, can be tracked for rougher terrain, or can remain stationary for base and city protection. Its missiles have several variants. The Akash Mark I, Akash 1S, Akash Prime, and Akash NG. The incremental variants Mark I, 1S, and Prime look the same, but the Akash NG looks different. Note that only limited details have been released regarding the Prime and NG missiles for security reasons, but all of them have a high explosive fragmentation warhead, meaning they contain many high velocity metal fragments, so they don't need a direct hit on the target just to destroy it. More on this later. These missiles also share the same speed of Mach 2.5 or 3,100 kilometers per hour, but the NG is lighter at only 350 kilograms compared with the other variants, which weigh 720 kilograms. The NG is lighter because it no longer uses ramjet technology and instead has a dual pulse solid rocket motor. That dual pulse solid rocket motor is also why the NG reaches 70 to 80 km range compared with the Prime's 30 to 40 km. All of them have a flight ceiling of 20 km. That means they can easily reach and chase China's faster fighter jet, the Chengdu J-20, which has a flight ceiling of 20 km at a top speed of only Mach 2 or 2,470 km per hour. As mentioned earlier, this missile system has two radars. First is the battery level radar, the Rahendra fire control radar. It is a passive electronically scanned array radar used for 3D target detection, out to 60 kilometers, multi-target tracking of up to 64 targets, and it can guide up to four missiles simultaneously. The other radar is the central acquisition radar, a long-range 3D radar capable of directing targets at distances of more than 200 kilometers. It serves as an early warning sensor so the missile launchers can be readied before the enemy gets close. And because it operates in the S-band, it also has a high chance of detecting stealth aircraft such as the Chengdu J-20. The battery command center is used to operate one battery. It processes the information received from the Rahendra radar assigns targets to the missile launchers, and ensures proper engagement of the enemy. The Group Command Center operates at a higher level. It coordinates the BCCs within an air defense network, processes information from the Central Acquisition Radar, assigns targets to the Battery Command Centers based on priority and threat assessment, and manages the battlefield air defense strategy. Now. This is how the Akash missile system works. Target detection and tracking. 
As soon as the enemy enters the 200 km detection range of the Central Acquisition Radar, it is immediately spotted. Once the target is identified, the Rahendra Fire Control Radar locks onto it and continues to track it. Command and Control Processing The command center determines whether the detected object should be engaged or not. If it is confirmed and authorized as a target, the system calculates the optimal interception point and flight path based on the speed, altitude, and direction of the incoming target. Missile Launching The launcher automatically elevates according to the calculated interception point. The missile then follows the flight path set by the BCC. While in flight, it receives real-time path corrections from the radar and the missile adjusts its direction according to the new information. On the final approach, the missile switches to active radar homing in which it heads to the target on its own. When it gets close, its proximity fuse automatically triggers and the fragmentation warhead detonates. Cool, right? Now, as of 2025, only Armenia has officially acquired the Akash missile system from India. In 2022, Armenia signed an agreement worth about $720 million for 15 Akash missile systems. The $200 million deal for the Akash missile system for the Philippines is expected to be finalized soon. Besides this, countries such as Vietnam, Egypt, Brazil, and Sudan have also expressed interest in the Akash system. The Philippines badly needs this system because its ground-based air defense against enemy fighter jets, cruise missiles, and UAVs is really lacking. Again, as we always say, it adds to the Philippines' deterrent capability. And because it is cheaper than the Western mid-range missile systems, such as the Patriot, it fits the Philippines' budget. Yet despite being affordable, it is still a very capable missile system.